Hello and welcome to another episode of a series where I'll be showing you how to easily work with Figma as designers. But today's one is special. We're going to talk about developers too, how to work with SVGs on Figma and on your VS Code if you are using VS Code or any code editor. So you have those SVG line of codes that you want to make into text. I'm going to show you how to easily do it. If your designer has done something with your um, icons and you can't find them on uh, on any library, maybe it's um, an icon that the designer made by him or herself, you can easily get that into your code. So let's dive right in. This should be very short, 10 minutes um, tutorial. So let's go and scout for SVG. So most of the times you, you may be on uh you may be on the look for svgs trying to get your hands on one as you can see my screen this is um the twitter i'm going to show you how to get those icons that you have here over here so let's say you want to get an icon that you use you can easily get it from here so let's pick this home icon inspect once you inspect, you see the um, SVG code. Click on this SVG, copy this element, and you can do two things. As a developer working on uh, working on uh, what's it called? Working on your VS Code, you can paste directly into your VS Code, and it renders this particular home button. But as a designer, you can go to your Sorry, let me share my full screen. So um, I hope you can see it better now. So you can paste directly on your canvas. That's on Figma. I already have a Figma file open. So you see, this is the icon, the same icon that we got from here. This is the home icon. And you can see the size is about 24 by 24. Then let's say you want to copy this, you do the same, inspect, you look at the SVG code right down here, you copy elements, you paste, see, same size, but now you notice that the color is different now because when you are copying it, when um, this icon is, was originally placed in, on in Twitter, it has no color. So it inherits the color that was given to it through CSS. So, but you don't, that won't be a problem. I will, there's a trick for developers also, which you may, you may have known this. So this is a code editor open. Um, you just do, I'm doing control V. So what I was doing here is paste control V to paste here. So that's something I just did. So this is the code that you copied from, uh, let me move myself down so you can see clearly. So this is the code that you copied from, uh, what's it called? This is the code that you copied from Twitter. Now this SVG, this is the color. So let's say you want to make it white. So what you just have to do is to add a few. Um, sorry. So, so let's add the color right here in Figma. Let me show you another two. Let me say, I want to add, I want to change this to, let's say red, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's, let's say green. So you can easily see it, let's say green. Uh, let's use this. So if I, want, if I want to copy this, watch. If I do Control C directly and paste it on my code editor, it's not going to paste anything. It's not going to paste anything because I just copied an image. If I want to copy it as, as an SVG, I'll just right click or yeah, right click, then you select copy to your face and you copy as SVG. Now, once you copy as SVG, you go to your code editor and paste it. So this is the SVG that we copy, and this is the field that we added to it, right? So with this field, 
if you add this field to any element that you are going to copy now, you're going to carry that form. So let me show you guys how it works. So let's copy another one. Um, let's copy this messaging icon. So inspect, it comes there directly. You copy this, copy element, and cut or copy anyone that you feel like. Um, let's paste it on our code editor. Then let's copy this field and add to it. So this will have that color that that green that green color that we made earlier. Watch out, boom, it works. So this is how you can work between Figma, your code editor, and any SVG. Let's say you have a logo, you can't just copy image because it was embedded into the um, into the website as an SVG. With inspect element, you can easily get your SVG, even though they are codes, they can paste directly the Figma. Kudos to the Figma team. They did a wonderful work on this application that you can easily use them. And you see they are fully editable. They are fully editable. So you can change anything. You can modify it to your taste. You can change, um, change the, the design. It's SVG, scalable vector graphics. You can do anything you like with it. Can use it the same. Whatever you want to do, you are free because this is how it was made. So each point was is signified in all these um, jamboree that you see here, all these numbers that you see. Here. So you can easily move from the code editor to your to Figma and from any website that you are working on. So it's just as easy as that, getting your SVGs and working on Figma. So do tell me if you if this video was helpful, like, subscribe, and share this content if it was useful to you, even if it was not, another person may need it. So do well to also uh, share with others. Thank you very much and hope to see you some other time.